Right in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with my channel update for July 2022. The months roll past. Um, <clears throat> a few updates. Um, and myself and my family finally caught COVID during the month, and um, yeah, it wasn't fun. Um, actually, um, eldest daughter runs a dance school. They had dance at Stedfords. We went along there, and um, I suppose it was just around too many people with with the sickness. Uh, potentially, I caught it off my first grand granddaughter because she here um, ended up positive as well. Um, uh, on the positive side, got some good cuddles with the new granddaughter. Put a picture up there. Um, yeah, and it, yeah, made us sick for a couple of weeks and still got the cough and things like that, but we are all better and everything like that. So, um, thank goodness that we're triple vaccinated. Um, I wouldn't like to even imagine what it was like, what it would be like if your body had to fight it on its own. Um, but anyway, enough of that. I'm sure everybody's heard enough about um, that horrible disease for the last two years. Um, yeah, so positive news. Um, grand, uh, new granddaughter cuddles. Now, I do have some other pickups. Um, so during the month it was Amazon Prime Day where they have their sales. Um, and I picked up one of the mini consoles that I didn't have um, because it was well, cheaper than it used to be. Plus it was also 15% off and free delivery. Um, and I do like Neo Geo things, so it's none other than the Neo Geo Mini. And I've already taken it out of the box, but and you've probably seen lots of these boxes, so it's the International Edition. Uh, and here's the unit. I'm putting any of the stickers or anything on there yet. So you can put, there's two different stickers you can put up here. I've not made my mind up. You can either put uh, that one or uh, one that looks like a game selection up there. Um, I've had a bit of a play. I didn't realise that it doesn't have batteries, so you are tethered to a cable. It has, does have a pretty good, nice branded uh, USB-C cable, though. Um, I've mainly just played a couple of shoot 'em ups on there at the moment, um, and it it's not too bad. Obviously, do like others have said, miss the clicky controller. That's the biggest letdown with it. No clicky controller. But other than that, the buttons aren't too bad, and the screen's nice and bright. Um, I suppose I should have plugged it in and showed it, but plenty of people have shown these, so I'm reasonably happy with it so far. Um, haven't had a lot of time to play it, um, but um, yeah, pretty good. I didn't get any of the extra controllers or anything like that because I didn't think it was worth it. Um, uh, obviously, that, some of those other things like the, um, uh, the, the Sega ones and the um, Egret would be lovely, but they are very, very expensive, and I don't think they'll be finding their way into Electric Adventures um, <coughs> collection anytime soon. Um, <coughs> there's that cough. Also, um, uh, while I was sick, obviously sitting down didn't feel like doing very much, um, and I went to use um, an emulation handheld that I've had for ages. Um, it's the uh, Runs Dingu. Um, Linux and the batteries died on it, it won't charge. I was very disappointed. Um, so I was looking at one of these Abenic ones, um, and there is the, the 500 series models, but they're a fair bit of money. Once again, didn't want to spend a lot of money. Um, so once again, this one got it on special, and this is the RG351M. This is the box it comes in. Um, it also came with a little zip up case, which is actually quite nice. So obviously it's not as powerful as the 500 series one, but it can still run a lot of games. And it's, uh, it's M means metal, so it's in this hard metal shell, which are actually quite light. It give, gives it a bit of weight. The sticks are actually quite nice. It's got lots of buttons. Um, I haven't put any custom firmware on it yet. I'm just using the stock one. Set that boot up. Doesn't take long.
there you go so it comes up and it's got a like a um, I'll hold this up here so you can see an overall screen I've put a few more so a few things came on it and I've put a few thing, more things on it like um, Atari and um, it actually runs speaking of the devil MSX games quite well um, just like one of the ones that's set up there Circus Charlie, quite a good Konami game. Um, I'm not going to be able to play it upside down. But it actually, obviously, I mainly play the um, 8 bit systems on it, so you know, Atari 2600, uh, MSX, of course. Uh, Atari 7800, uh, ColecoVision. Um, <clears throat> I do actually quite like some of the um, the um, uh, you know Capcom system emulators that are in there and everything like that. And I need to find out what ROM versions of, of Mame to put some more Mame ROMs on there. So it's enough for me to play on the go when I'm stuck in the car waiting somewhere um, or down at my holiday home. Um, so which is where, you know, the other one went in my bag most times and I used to play with it and uh, I'm not sure whether I can replace the battery so I thought it was better and this is much faster than that was um, but it only cost me it was about 140 including postage I think it's about that, it was, it was 128, I can't remember exactly but it wasn't very much money and I wasn't going to spend the amount of money for the 500 series one because I don't use um, portables that often um, but I thought with these nice controls and everything like that but I need to spend some more time you know playing with it and setting it up now there's one more pickup for the month um, shall we call him my uh, future son-in-law second daughter's um, boyfriend um, they were tidying up and they found this on the floor at home and they don't even have a Game Boy anymore so it's um, Rampage 2 uh, Universal Tour. Now, I was going to include a little bit of gameplay using the um, Super Game Boy. So sneaky little thing, obviously was brought out when it knows about those and was and blocks it. So um, <clears throat> and I don't have a 101. Sorry, I pulled that card out and crashed it. So I've only got a 100 series here, and so it's not going to be very easy to show you. But I actually quite like the original Rampage game, and I have sat and had a little bit of play with this, and it's it's not a not a bad version of Rampage. It's still going. Um, you can play multiple players. Okay, see, so rescue George. And it's got quite good graphics. Obviously, not an active screen, so it's very hard to show it to you. And um, I've been playing a little bit, and it's it's pretty good fun as far as the Rampage game is concerned. I'm just a little disappointed I couldn't play it on the Game Boy player because I probably would have got some more um, more gameplay and fun out of it. And also, my room's looking a little messy and cramped because um, I mentioned this in one of my gameplay videos when I was recording it. Um, uh, number three daughter has actually been successful in an offer on a house. Um, so while waiting for it to, it was a deceased estate, so the, the settlement period is very long. Um, her lease where she was renting uh, was ending so she's moved back home in the interim and all her stuff is just jammed in everywhere so there's like there's a mattress back there and there are boxes piled up over here um, she just wanted everything safe and dry while she was uh, getting ready so hopefully in a couple of weeks 
she can get the keys and we can do a little bit of renovations and move her in and then I can start cleaning this place up again. Well, I still haven't built those shelves that I want to build um, and I have got a few new MSX titles lately and I'm running out of room to put them in my MSX section so I really want to um, uh, renovate both this side of the room for all my, to put all my Nintendo stuff and over that side of the room to, so I can have a much bigger area for my MSX titles and so it looks nicer and neater as well. I'll try and video and take pictures as I build those. Um, I'm just I'm going to build the shelves myself. Um, then, then we now seem to have stocks of wood. I've already bought the stain ages ago, so it's just a matter of um, putting them together and and um, and uh, getting it all organised. So hopefully, probably after I finish those renovations of my daughter's house, I'll get into that. All right. So not not a lot else. Um, I mean, I've been playing a few games. Um, I finally started Elden Ring on the PlayStation 5. I am absolutely dreadful at it. I've died so many times, um, but it's good fun. I like a good RPG like that. Um, I finished Star Wars Lego on the PlayStation 5, um, and I've even um, downloaded uh, Fallout 4 <laughs> to play it again on the PlayStation 5 while I was sick. Um, so that's been good fun. Now, as well as that, um, I've settled into my new job, and I have had some more actual normal free time where I'm left alone like this is a night this is night time after work and um, my wife works at dance school so no it's gonna be home for a couple of hours so I actually am getting some more game room time so I'm hoping to get into a bit of a schedule and start tidying things up fixing a few more things um, I mean I've got lots of arcade cabinet fixes to do and obviously the shelves to build so lots I can do in here uh, but one of the things I have been doing um, has been working on my homebrew titles. So first and foremost, Sydney Hunter and the Caverns of Death, the title I've been working on for a very long time. Um, one blockage that I had for a while had run out of shapes in the sprite pattern table and we needed shapes, we needed patterns for sliding down the ropes and climbing up the ropes. Um, the um, graphic artist who who did all the shapes, gave me the shapes ages ago, I just didn't have enough room in the pattern table. So I wrote some more code to um, basically look for duplicates in the table, um, list them out and then I removed them from the code and fixed it all up and wording and I actually ended up with 30 extra tile patterns which was fantastic. Um, and we got two frames of animation of um, Sydney climbing up a rope and one for sliding down um, and it looks pretty good. Uh, I've put it all in the game, sent off another ROM for testing, so the game is now completely finishable. I even have put the game end of game screen in, although um, it doesn't currently trigger. That's the next thing I need to do. And other than that, it's just play testing and little tweaks. Um, so just, you know, uh, little adjustments to level layouts and maybe find some bugs, and it's ready, finally ready for release. Uh, John Gamester 81 was, if he had time, was going to. Um, uh, set it up at the game on Expo for people to play. Um, he's been very busy getting all that organised. It's been his life to get that going in after two, after hi being on hiatus for a couple of years. Um, and he, he will um, try and get a demo of that playing at the Expo for people to play, if possible. Um, but otherwise, yes, it won't be much longer and that one will be released. Um, also, only just uh, earlier in the week, I took the code for Lunar Rescue, which I've got completely working on the Coleco, and I ported it across to the original Spectre video. Um, and it's running very well, running very fast. Um, um, it's, all, it's all playable and working. Um, now I need to work on the sound. Obviously, different sound chips, so I've got to redo the sound. Um, and I, I mean, I actually want to redo the sound of the Coleco one because I've, I've played the arcade game some more and it needs to sound more like Space Invaders because that's where the, it uses the Space Invaders hardware, the original game, so a bit more work there. Um, Depth Charge is completely finished and running on all three systems, because um, Lunar Rescue, Depth Charge, and another title called Stunt Cycle are going to be released on one cartridge for all three systems. Um, Stunt Cycle, um, I'm still working on the jump physics, and then that'll be finished off, and, and mucking around with different control options, because obviously the original arcade um, thing just had a, like a rev a rev thing, so simulating that with buttons, I'm going to give people a couple of options. Um, and then I'll combine all those together into one cartridge with a menu, um, but mo you know, the games are mostly playable. Uh, conversion across to the original Spectre video, uh, the next step to the MSX is very easy, it's just um, <coughs> almost exactly the same hardware. Um, I just have to switch it over to my other template. So 
I'm just pleased that I'm making more progress on my homebrew titles again and enjoying those. Um, uh, and um, yeah, working away on some more guides and books and things like that. So just a bit of a ramble and um, check in with everybody. But um, that's my update for the month. All right, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.